Hey folks, welcome back to another episode right here on East Kentucky Picker. My name is Mike. Follow along as I take you along and show you some sales that I've done here on eBay. And uh, what are we waiting on? Let's go! Alrighty folks, first up here, uh, don't forget to hit the like button and smash the subscribe button. If you like videos that's related to eBay sales, Go no further than right here on East Kentucky Picker and follow along as I try to teach you multiple different things, what to look out for to sell, how to package those difficult items, and how to help increase your sales on eBay. But uh, like I said, what are we waiting on? Let's go pull. First item is going to be right here on the top shelf. I just listed this a couple hours ago. And uh, thanks to my good buddy, John out there at Cincinnati Picker, I finally got my hands on a bat. And I probably I probably undersold myself, but hey, I'm happy. I gave two dollars for it at a yard sale uh to uh yesterday and uh so I picked it up. This is a D Martini D Marini, I meant juggernaut bat that is a uh, it is uh Let's see if we can get that. 26 ounce, 34 inches. I did describe that the handle probably needs to be uh, uh, redone there, but hey, it was a quick sale. That thing sold for $99.95 plus shipping on top. So, like I said, I gave two bucks for it at a yard sale yesterday, and I remember him saying D Marini's is pretty good bats to pick up, so. I was I didn't even have no cell phone service to even look that up in the area I was at so I just bought it on the hunch uh, of D Marini and came back listed it I looked it up lo and behold some some of the older basses the older version sold for like 79 89 bucks so I put mine out there for 99 95 best offer lasted maybe two hours so they bought it straight up for 99 95 I sound like Tesla picker there didn't I? straight up but uh it sold for $99.95 plus shipping on top. I already got the box made up for it here. This is how I'm going to ship it out. I'm going to ship it out in this uh, priority mail tube box. And uh, yeah, that's how I'm going to ship that big bad boy. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, bring you back real quick on this baseball bat on the shipping. Like I said, this is a priority mail tube box. It's the biggest tube there is. As you can see, I bubble wrapped the baseball bat from top to bottom then i'm going to shove some extra brown paper down in there to keep it from wiggling you see there's no movement at all then i've got some extra paper here sorry if that was a little loud put it right like so and then just seal it up ship it on its way that's how you, that's a good way on how to ship your, uh, that's a good way to ship baseball bats, golf clubs, and such like that. That's, like I said, that's your big, that's a medium melling tube is what that is right here, as you can see. Medium melling tube, priority mail. So it comes priority mail on one side, express mail on the other side. All you gotta do is just fold it uh, to the priority mail side, the red on the out, and that's how you can ship baseball bats and, uh, and such. Let's, while you're here, let's see what the weight is. The weight is going to be 2.57, so 2, 2 pounds and 6 ounces. So what that's going to ship out at. And I believe I entered the calculations at 3 pounds just to be safe. And uh, we'll refund the buyer if there's any excess money. Alright, we've had a few more sales come throughout the day. Uh, it's been a pretty good productive day listed a lot of items and uh, worked on the shed here on some inventory moving some inventory around been currently watching this uh, uh, Tommy Bernard show it's got garage flips uh, Lonnie on it they've discussed a lot of great things and learned a lot of new things from the, on the eBay side plus the YouTube side so I always appreciate uh, Tommy and uh, Tracy and them bringing on guests i learn a lot with them even though they probably don't know who i am uh but i still learn a lot every time i watch your show so let's go pull, pick some items shall we 
this is going to uh, include some multimedia first one's going to be back here on a3 we have a star wars the rise of skywalker target exclusive soundtrack cd sold for seven dollars i have 50 cents into it free shipping next up is over on c2 don't have many of these left this is the lord of arcana psp game i have 25 cents into them i have 25 cents into it sold for 4.95 plus shipping on top i bought that in a bulk buy and it only looks like i only got three left next up back here on a3 you see i've got packages i've done there for uh will be going out tomorrow got this josh groban noel deluxe edition christmas cd it sold for $3.95 plus shipping on top. I have 50 cents into it. This next one might be a little difficult to find. It's on D3. Uh, this might be it right here. 2001. I'm looking for a 2001 Dale Hart Jr. Budweiser. Let me just scan through these others real quick. 2002 yep that's it this is a 2001 Dale Earnhardt Jr. action 124 scale die cast car it sold for $19.95 plus shipping on top I have $10 into it uh, so not after fees and stuff I'm probably gonna make four or five dollars on it uh, but hey it's a sale right I just bought a big collection and was hoping that they would be a little stronger and there was still got some strong cars I still do good off of it but that's going to conclude this video I hope you all have enjoyed it I am uh, tomorrow's video I think I'm going to discuss on listing items how I'm how I list my items on tomorrow's video hopefully so hope you look forward to watching that I appreciate everybody's support I'm still at 100 subs, and I'm thankful and grateful for that. So let's uh, let's now go to 200, and I have faith that you all will share and like and do all the things you need to do. So don't forget to one, like this video, two, smash that subscribe button, help me out. I would greatly appreciate it. Until then, I'll catch you all next time.